the smoke is definitely getting thicker unfortunately so it's halting a lot of visibility issues but this is uh part two here in oregon we're still at squirrel camp if you haven't watched the first one we ended it with a bang literally just got done eating some squirrel stew and just in case again you missed the first part i'll just show you guys our camp so this is our rig and then right here we have our trailer because we needed extra room to haul stuff especially this thing right here the four-wheeler we do have a four-wheeler that we can use to drive around and then this is our tent this is where me and my brother chinu are sleeping and then right next to us this is my dad's crib he has a cot tent for where he's sleeping so it's basically a cot but then there's a tent that's built to go on top of this cot and underneath his cot he just has a bunch of his stuff that he needs and then this is our main living room we've got two shade tents this tent right here the white one is where we're just chilling and eating the one over here with the blue one is our kitchen basically there's all of our rifles and shotguns because we just got back from a hunt this morning and then we also have this clothesline just wrapped around that tree that goes out to this tree over here and we're mainly using this to dry out our clothes such as this so pretty straightforward there we do have a campfire here but campfires are not allowed so we're not doing anything with it here and then right there they're just packaging some the squirrel that we shot today that's also our kitchen sink basically we have water but speaking on water we've already used some water used a lot of water so we got to go back and refill these things just so we have water to use and then that's pretty much it just got a bunch of coolers laying everywhere and the last thing is this thing over here which is our generator because just to have electricity you know we brought a rice cooker so this thing will power that rice cooker as much as we need it to and also charge my camera charge my phone charge our electronics stuff like that so that's squirrel camp 2022 so now we got to figure out what we want to do because that smoke is thick Hopefully the wind's not too bad, but we're gonna drive down to the creek. My brother and my dad are gonna take the truck. I'm gonna take the ATV. That way later, if we wanna go hunting, we can just take the ATV. But it's pretty dope. That's cold. There's a creek. It's a nice little pool right here. I don't think sandals are the best to shuttle water. It's a good way to roll your ankle. Ooh. Water's heavy. Driving along on the road and 
There's some turkeys. First time seeing turkeys down here. Rio Grandes. It's a little windy. Sun is long gone. We have maybe 30 minutes left of visible light and we've had our squirrel fix yesterday and this morning so um, I figured this evening we'd shift gears and instead of going after squirrels we go after bears because all of us have valid black bear tags here and we've seen black bears in here before last year and so we know that this ridge right here has some kind of food source for them which is just a bunch of berries Figured we'd come last this evening because earlier it was super smoky. You couldn't see far, but as the sun started to dip, like this wind is picking up again. Maybe you guys can hear it, but there's a there's a nice breeze that's been blowing through and it's cleared out a lot of uh, the smoke so you can last pretty far. And so I figured we'd take advantage of this clear visibility and try to find a bear. We're just going to post up glass, see if we get lucky and see something. If not, then back to camp, eat dinner, then back hunting tomorrow. Back to camp, saw nothing this evening, so we're just gonna cook up some not really cook, but make some noodles, and then we're gonna also just reheat the squirrel stew from earlier when we ate lunch. Just rice, and that's pretty much it for dinner. After this, then hit the sack. And I believe the goal or the plan for tomorrow morning is we're gonna go hit a new spot uh, tomorrow morning for squirrel, and we'll see how that goes. I think it's untouched. I apologize if the light is swinging. My headlight's just hanging on the shade tent and there's a lot of wind blowing but that's the plan hopefully we can smack some more squirrels tomorrow Making my way down into a new valley. Drove past it before, but never hiked it, so we're just gonna go explore today. My brother and dad have hunted here before, and last year they said they did see a lot of squirrels. So, we're gonna go down here, go find a spot to sit, and just wait for the morning, the morning activity. This is the remains of a pine cone. And these pine cones that they eat are huge. They're not the little dinky ones. And this is like what this looks like after they eat it. So this is like the shavings, shavings. And then this is the stem or the spine of the pine cone. Again, I'm relatively inexperienced, but this is the one thing I've noticed that has helped me with my success is you need to find uh, where these squirrels are eating because if it's a feeding ground that means squirrels are usually in the general area and a lot of times you will find Stuff like this and the shavings at the bases of trees because a lot of times what squirrels will do is they'll take like a big pine cone Climb up a tree go to a limb and they'll just sit there and just eat the pine cone and when they're sitting on a limb like that all the shavings and stems like this just drop down to the ground to the base of the tree so i might try to find a spot to sit here and just sit and see if squirrels willing to come by been pretty slow this morning. I've been just 
side hilling along these finger ridges and just occasionally picking out a spot to sit down and just wait. Not a single sign of life in here so far besides a bunch of birds. Haven't heard any squirrel activity. No bears either but this area that I'm looking at right now like if I was to shoot a bear I feel like this is the type of area where I'd shoot a bear. Tall trees with a lot of shade just more secluded from roads and a lot of brush a lot of vegetation we got a creek just down this side running down and up the valley like this so there's everything a bear needs food water shelter we're just gonna pick our way through just repeat this process sit on one spot move to the next spot just sit there move to the next spot sit there and we'll just see if we can get lucky with either squirrels or a black bear I sure hope this log doesn't crumble on me. Light as a squirrel. Sketch. I've been just walking around. I think there's a squirrel nest up on a tree just over to my right over here. And I got in here and this place is just loaded with all of this feeding sign here. The whole base of this tree is just covered with these shavings and you can see this is a pine cone that's completely cleaned out. And this is a pine cone that's partially cleaned out. This part up here was eaten and this part is not touched yet and so basically if you look here this is the before and after right so this is what it looks like the pine cone looks like before it's eaten the stem looks like this once it's eaten and these petals or whatever you call these look like this after they get eaten and they just leave a bunch of residue down below wherever they eat so there's a lot of squirrel sign in here just haven't seen them That's another tale for the books. First one for the day. It's been pretty slow for me this morning. I was just slowly, you know, side hilling along this long ridge. And along this long ridge, there's just a bunch of finger ridges that go down towards the creek. I've been just hiking to one ridge, sitting there for like half an hour to an hour. If I didn't see anything, just packed up, kept moving to the next ridge. This is like my third ridge over. I just got done, sat on this log and I heard some scurrying behind me or like to my right. Look over there in the first shot. I think I just whiffed it on the first shot because I was trying to time it as he was coming down, running down the tree. And right before he got to where I was gonna uh, pull the trigger, he stopped. And I think I shot right in front of him and he went scurrying back up the tree. 
and I was trying to run as fast as I can to the tree so that he wouldn't be able to get on the ground and run. And so I got over there and I think he didn't even know what happened. So I scared him up the tree and he was looking at me like at six yards. <laughs> and I knew at six yards with the shotgun, like the pattern's like that tight. So I put it like just over the top of his head. That way I just didn't obliterate the body. So uh, the body's completely intact. The body's fine. So the body is perfectly fine to eat. I'm happy with that. Good start to the day. Just a reminder, always pick up your shells. Just make sure I have three more locked and loaded. Oh, what the, I thought that was the same one. I just pulled a double, <laughs> what? Okay, so the first one I shot, he was in this tree and I shot him and he dropped, but then I wasn't too sure because it was a longer shot. And I got right here and I look in this tree and it was rustling and I'm like, wait, is that the same squirrel? But he had a nut in his mouth. I was like, there's no way this squirrel would still have a nut in his mouth after he dropped like that from the tree. And so I thought, I thought it was one squirrel, but it turns out that it's two squirrels. <laughs> what? We just pulled a triple out of this spot. I shot my first one and my second one basically in the same clump of trees right there. And then this third one, I shot him right off this branch. Okay, I don't know what happened in that first shot with the first squirrel, but I, I apparently missed. But we got him. This is the third one. It's a nice size one. And then this is the second one. Two more, I got three right out of this spot right here. I came and looked at the spot. I was like, man, this spot, if I was a squirrel, I'd live here. Because I mean, there's a lot of food and the ground is pretty open. You know, I think it's pretty friendly for squirrels to be running around in these big trees. It seems like they just like it. Just got them back. That's number two and number three right here. And my third one's behind the camera, so. I've got three squirrels this morning and uh, where we're hunting, you have a daily limit of five, so I can only shoot two more. But that would be a pretty big thing to ask for is a limit of squirrels. Pretty happy. Blessed morning in the woods for sure. You know, I'm very happy that we're having a success because you know, when we came out here, we really didn't bring much meat from home. We just said, we're either gonna shoot squirrels or we're going vegetarian. So, you know, we've been very blessed by the good Lord above that every day we've, we've been on squirrels. So just gotta be thankful for that. I like this log. I'm gonna call this my squirrel killing log.
dropped a pin on Onyx right here <laughs> on this log. But I'm out of shells in my pocket, so I'm going to dig out more shells in my pack. Brand new box of shells. So what I've been doing is I've been keeping my shotgun loaded. So I have three total in my shotgun. And then I keep a total of seven extra shells in my pockets so that I have a total of 10 shotgun shells just on the go, ready to go. And then I just have a box in my pack. So I put three in my right pocket because that way if I empty out my shotgun, uh, I can just go my right pocket and know that I have three shells ready to go as well. And then I do four shells in my left pocket. Ten thirty-five. I haven't seen any other squirrel activity. Just met up with my brother, and uh, he's gotten to a couple squirrels today, but he's only gotten one. And so I sat over here on this log, but I decided to move closer to where I was uh, getting all the squirrels. That way, I can see down this finger ridge. But nothing's happening, so I'm gonna eat. I'm feeling a little bit beat. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> That's too funny. That 12 gauge has just been beating up my cheekbone. But. My stuff's right here. My rifle, my pack, the three squirrels that I shot earlier. Earlier I shot my squirrels just up here. Been sitting here, nothing's been happening. And then my dad eventually made his way up this ridge and he's with me now. They're sitting on this rock and I'm like, I see something coming on the ground. I'm like, dad, there's a squirrel right there. But my dad's guns hang, hanging on the tree, not hanging, but leaning up against the tree like 10 yards away from us. And my dad's like, you shoot him. So, <laughs> that's number four. Crazy. Number four. So amazing, man. We are not going hungry today. So stoked. I had no idea where this squirrel came from. I would have never known he was here if he didn't start uh, barking at me. He started barking at me and I'm like, you gotta be kidding me, you're so close. It's like, I know which tree you're on, I just couldn't find him. And then got the GoPro set up, got this camera rolling and then he kept just laughing at me so I let him have it. That's my daily limit for five. I just officially limited out. This is my first time ever in my life getting my daily limit of five squirrels in one day. Well, I guess that's the point of a daily limit, but you get what I'm saying, so. Let's go look at them. Here's all my stuff. I made a decent little pit right there so that all these pokey stuff wouldn't poke me when I sat down. Chilling here by my burnt tree. Got all my squirrels right here. There's four right there, but there's about to be five. 
and he was just in this tree right here. He was like right here somewhere. Shot him and he just flopped. Nice. Number five. I shot all of my five within this like 50 yard vicinity. I guess when you find a good spot, it just produces. You just gotta give it some time. So I'm done for the day. So I can focus on bear now. I got five, my dad has three, and then I believe Chinu has one. He has one or two. I'm done, so my job's over. Shotgun's empty. Later, if I want to go after quail, I can. But at this point, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, we'll see what I feel like doing later. But I've got my limit, so I'm just gonna go back over and just go tag along with my brother or my dad see if they want to use the shotgun they've basically been just using rim fire so definitely with the shotgun it makes it a lot uh a lot less stressful when it comes to taking a shot but definitely when you're eating them you just have to be a little bit more careful not to break a tooth or chip a tooth by biting into a bb but in terms of success it's hard to argue the results of a shotgun so I'm gonna clean up here and then just pack up. It is hot. It's like two o'clock and we all agree that it's time to head back to camp. It's a little warm. So see you back at the truck. Back to camp. Here's all our clothes from yesterday when we went to go and shower. Everything's pretty much dry. Might have to go shower again momentarily after we eat because the hike out was pretty uh, pretty toasty. But we're just getting ready to cook, or we're actually already cooking. I just got done making rice. You guys saw me do that. That was my job for today. So I made rice, and we're actually gonna cook up the quail the quails that I shot yesterday and just mix it in with some squirrel so we'll have squirrel slash quail stew and then everything else is pretty much the same but because we have a generator I do have to take advantage of the electricity and I'm charging my camera battery right there and then I have my phone charger charging my phone my dad is in charge of the stew so we're gonna let him handle the stew we're gonna throw in the quail meat from the quails I shot in with some squirrel and do the same thing. A little bit of oil at the bottom of the pot, brown some lemongrass, ginger, and garlic. Then add in your quail meat and squirrel meat 
you're just gonna simply brown that as well you're not gonna fully cook it just brown it after that add in your water and just let it boil and then from there add salt and pepper to taste and then from there it's all about adding whatever vegetables and herbs you want my dad he's a big fan of tomatoes so we're gonna add in tomatoes uh, red chili peppers the tomatoes just really add that red tint to the broth which just makes it look all the more appetizing from there is back to the basics bowl of white rice throwing your stew on top of white rice it's done